What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own workspace in After Effects. Now I'm also going to be doing another video on how to create your own workspace in Illustrator, and then in a later tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to work between Illustrator and After Effects and bringing in different vector files. So let's get started. Space. So the first thing I do when I'm creating a workspace is to look at the things that I'm using the most and obviously give those the most space. So in this case, that's going to be the timeline and composition. Now I can already see that the paragraph and align windows are taking up some of the space of my timeline. So what I'm going to do is drag the paragraph to the next window above that and then move the align to the left of the composition. Now the next step is to group similar windows. So I want to keep character and paragraph together as they are both dealing with text. And then I'm going to move the preview panel to under the align. And now I've freed a ton of space for my character and paragraph. Now I don't actually use these info and audio panels. So what I'm going to do is right click on those and select close panel group. And again, that'll free even more space for those two windows. Now I'm always using the Mount MoGraph script. So what I'm gonna do is go grab the motion script here and I'm gonna dock it above the align panel. I'm actually gonna move this out here for a second so I can bring that down and then do the same with the preview. Now the two panels that are most commonly used are the project and effects and presets windows. So what I like to do is keep those on the left and keep the effects and presets on the right, just because you're going into project much more than you are effects and presets. But now I also like to keep the effect controls on the right so that they don't get mixed up on the right here in the, with the project and effects and presets. And I also don't like to keep it in the center because if you drag a shape, for example, and you want to edit that, just drag, drag in a fill here. And let's say you were messing around with the color, you don't want to be changing the color and not seeing what you're doing. So having that on the right is really nice to see your changes as you make them. So now once you're finished creating your workspace, just make sure you go to Window, Workspace, and then select New Workspace, and then just give it a name. So we'll call this Workspace number one, because that's really descriptive, and hit OK. So now if you go to window workspace again, you'll see that workspace one has been added. This way when you open up After Effects again, all your windows have not been shifted and you don't have to rearrange it all over again. So if I go ahead and switch back to my main workspace, you can see it's pretty similar to the one we created. But when you're creating your own workspace, make sure that you customize it to your own needs. You do not have to have it exactly like mine because this is the way I work, but your workflow may be entirely different. And on my last tip, I'd like to encourage you guys to leave windows open that you're actually touching. Don't bring in stuff that you're not actually using. So if I had an extra thing such as this wiggler, never even heard of it before, but let's say I had it there and I'm not actually using, but it's taking up part of my timeline, just go ahead and delete it because if you're not using it, it's just gonna sit there and take up a space. Well guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope that was helpful in some way or another. Be sure to look out for the Illustrator workspace video soon. That was a lot of words. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>